what do you think y your impact has been, your team's impacts have been on not just the women's basketball program, but the university overall? Well, we, get, we get kind of got things started before Title IX came along. And when t Title IX came along, no one really knew what it meant. We were still trying to figure that out, actually for years yeah. after trying yeah. to figure it out. And I just stayed around the program and did what I could to help out. I worked with Kit Saunders for years when I was in grad school and um, worked summer camps for basketball with Edwina and just kind of stayed involved. I became a, a teacher and a coach at Middleton High School and I, I coached three sports. And it, it's just neat to see what has happened and um, how far we've come. There's ways to go yet, but it's neat to see how far we've come. Well, I think as an 18, 19, 20 year old, um, I didn't really have a grasp of that. Um, I think that as the years have gone by, um, and now at this age, uh, and, and looking at my own nieces um, playing water polo and just watching other girls and the opportunity they had, um, I'm proud. I'm really proud of, our, of, of us, and mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself, and yep. I'm proud, for, you know, that we we did have a role and we played a role, and I think that's amazing that we can say that we had a role in women's sports beginning. I know I've had an impact, and actually, when I was in, when I was teaching um, after college, also, and I was coaching volleyball, and every season I would bring my kids down mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sit them in the gym because I wanted them to see what good volleyball was like, right. what was above the level that they were at. And that was one of my most fun days coaching was just, and I was so proud of being a Badger, bringing those kids there and getting them that opportunity. Now, you know, a lot of kids come to games and mm -hmm. parents bring their kids and stuff like that, but that, you know, nobody came to watch volleyball. I mean, we had our games in the net and there was maybe a second row of chairs behind right. the bench for people to sit on. That's how many people attended. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I feel like I have had a part and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to you know, have had a part. What are you liking from what you're seeing, you know, 50 years after Title IX has been signed into law? But also on that, what next steps do you think should be taken? Yeah, I, th I think we need to continue to, to forge ahead and look for opportunities to give girls and women, you know, opportunities in sports. The leadership roles are so important as they move on into business or whatever walks of life they go into. And so the more you can involve people in different sports and, and keep them active, the better. It's a great way to channel the energy of today's youth into that. So I look at it bigger than just the university. It, it makes such a big difference in women in society and how mm -hmm. successful they are right. in yeah. leadership right. so, roles. Yeah, so true. Sandy, to, to add to that, I mean, I feel that way just in my world of finance. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm a financial advisor, which has really been a man's world. Right. Mm -hmm. And having been a women's basketball player and somebody that can, you know, talk sports and do things, it has really helped my role mm -hmm. in my professional life. Mm -hmm. And so I totally and I, agree. I, I, I see that we, when I look at other athletes yes. that, you know, we played with or yeah. maybe played just after us. I mean, the impact it has on your your career and your personal life. I mean, the confidence you get from being able to participate, mm -hmm. it's very, very different than kids that don't, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm extremely thankful for you three making time today, again, inside the Cole Center here. We're here in a basketball camp right now <laughs> in that background uh, that we hear uh, and whatnot. But thank you three so much for your time and for your just telling your stories here today. Thank you.